and with some amazing track and field athletes. And we try our hand making all natural soap with some help from a local pro. But first we head outside where we get Kim out of her comfort zone with some creepy crawlies. Kim, I know how much you love bugs, so <laughs> this segment is perfect for you. Thanks, Marie. I have been looking forward to this segment for quite a while. Today we're going to catch some real live insects, and then we're going to explore the art of fly tying. As long as I don't have to touch the real bugs, <laughs> I'll be fine. The Indian Mountain Rod and Gun Club was kind enough to host our insect adventure. Trustee Mike Schwartz is also a member of Trout Unlimited, as is our instructor, Will Daskal. The men taught us that fly tying is meant to mimic nature. So first, we wanted to find out what kinds of insects are here for the fish to eat. Will, you're going in first. Are you testing the waters? Yep. <laughs> Come on in. As he invites you. Come on, Come on in. in. Come on, Come on in. in. What we're going to do first is we're going to look for a rock, and the technique is you want to lift it up toward the current and then roll it up, and then you're going to look to see what's on here. And we're looking for little creepy crawlers that are moving around. It's a small one, buddy. See it? It looks delicious. Well, the trowel thinks so. <laughs> it barely looks like anything. Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Here we go. Okay, that's a good one. Which that, one is it? It looks like I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but, but I will. I'll give you a hint. There's another one. <laughs> yup. Wow. We should have Marie doing this from the beginning. <laughs> That doesn't even look like a bug. Ah, but what's inside that? All right. There must be something moving on oh, it. Okay. Oh, okay. Hold, hold that, hold that. Oh, you hit pay dirt. You hit pay dirt. <laughs> of course I did. Beautiful. That, that guy looks cool. I like him. That's exactly what we want. After turning over several rocks, we pulled out the kick screen. Here we go. Okay, so you're gonna kick up stuff. I'm gonna try to kick up stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna kick things up too. Okay, Me too. Let, let's take a look. There's something. Oh, there's something. Oh, too. yeah, yeah, there's yeah, yeah. Couple. Okay, hang on. We have paint dirt. Paint dirt. It's a bug's life on this screen. Here we go. There's one. Excellent. There's a really little one here. Look. Right there. Oh, he's active. The big one's coming after you. Oh, oh that one. Oh, God. Yep. Put it down. Zach, right there. look, I got one. Put it in. Excellent. Ooh. What is he? Oh, uh, we're going to find out. Actually, we've got three different species, so we're good. So, we found the larva of a mayfly, the larva of a stonefly, and then Will told us the secret about those little sticks. Is that really a stick or a little twig? This is actually a case. Okay. It's a case for a cased caddis. There's another one over there. So you can pick it up and try to... That's all right. I'll wait for you. <laughs> Okay, this one is empty. Just try to split it like you're opening a fortune cookie. Or in this case, a misfortune cookie. Yeah, right? Oh, we have some. There we have it. We have something. Hold on. Let me see if I can get it out. Yes. There it is. Yay. <laughs> so here we have the cream colored abdomen and the dark head. So there's a good example of a caddis. And we're going to tie a fly that's exactly like, like that. that. Now tell us about the whole the whole art of tying flies. This is how it started, trying to copy off of nature. The, the whole purpose of, of tying flies is to be able to come up with something that will replicate a food source that the trout will believe is on the dinner table. Will gave us a quick demo using lead wire, rabbit dubbing, and thread. Next, it was our chance to match the hatch. Okay, and this is the... This is the lead, lead, lead wire. Lead so basically, wire. you only have Four to hold nights. enough of it to just get a grip on it and wrap around and get about four wraps. Now, you see the size of the eye of the hook? 
Yes. You want to have a space of about two, one good eye. That That's good. Oh, you did Easy. a great job. Was that good? Have you done this before? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, now you can start with that thread. With your thread. Excellent. And now just wrap the thread around from behind the eye, right back toward the curve of the hook. Take your time. And you want to cover up as much of that as possible. Well, I don't know what the heck happened to mine. <laughs> oh, not a problem. I'm like, what? Well, here's what we do. Okay, we, 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 we do. We regroup. Now we get out the handy-dandy nail polish. Right, Sally Hands. It only works with Sally Hands and Taurus Nail. It doesn't work with any of the brands. Do you get a... Uh, no, I wish I did, but I don't. <laughs> So we're just, just going to get a little over. touch, that's it. That will help to glue it in place, it helps to bind the thread to it, and it also helps to prevent the lead from leaching out. So now you can actually, you can actually start dubbing. Twist, twist, twist. Okay. You want to get a tight noodle, that's good. I'm going for that cigar sheet. Like... Doing well. Here? Yeah. Oh, that's right, you want to make that? Yeah, you want to make a little head. black head, uh, and you want to go back about one, one and a half hook eyes. So that you see a, a discernible black spot. One, two, three. Excellent. This is not tight enough. Okay. So it has to be really twisted hard. Really twisted hard in whatever direction. Okay. Now, take the bottom for me without losing the tension in it. We want to keep this straight. <laughs> Don't worry about that. I lost the whole bobbin. That's okay. It makes it good TV. Okay, okay, what you need to do is we there. need to regroup. We <laughs> <laughs> need to regroup. We need to regroup. And That's Will's way of saying I'm not the best fly tire yet. But, but I'm getting there. Let's hang on. Grab this. My black thread went okay. to, went for going for a walk again. <laughs> Here's what we're going to do. Wait, wait, wait. No, we're we're going to do the, the, the bright thing. We're going to break this off. We're going to break this off. And we're going to start again. And we're going to start again. I'm done. I'm finished. Shall I? I'm wait, done. Wait, wait. Keep going. You're doing fine. I'm doing fine, Marie. I'm not a disaster. <laughs> You no, were a disaster, no. not anymore. You ended up you with a wax worm, you ended up with a caddis. One, two, three. Bingo. It's just like mini classes. There you go. <laughs> Cut it, glue it. Cut it, glue it, sold. The next phase is we're going to take these flies and go fishing, go fishing. with them. Sounds All right? Good. All right. Yep. Sounds very so good. So you were great students today, and I applaud you. <laughs> So be sure to catch next month's show when Will takes us fly fishing in the stream at Indian Mountain Rod and Gun Club. We know there will be fish waiting for us because the club raises their own. So Mike, what kind of fish are these? Rainbows and brookies. Rainbows and brookies. A few browns, but not many. will end up being released into the stream for uh, club members to um, enjoy. Uh, we have uh, the same limit that's in the state. It's uh, a five fish limit. Wow, they're like fighting over this food. I feel yeah. bad. So now, are you going to stop the creek right before we come back next time to go fly fishing? Yeah, I'm not going to say yes or no, but it, it's a possibility. <laughs> Uh, I'd say that's a strong possibility. What did you say, Mike? <laughs> they'll, they'll be stocking the stream when they come back. I think so. Right before we come back. Yeah, yeah, that makes sure we have fish. <laughs>